Good afternoon and welcome to Student News, or as you know us, Stews, with the meaty gossip. My name is Olivia and I'm here today with my co-host Rachel. Thank you, Olivia. And today we'll be discussing the small issue of the UK skydiving out of the EU. And don't forget, orange is the new Barack. As we're all aware, in 2016 the unimaginable was imagined and the general consensus of the UK decided to stuff the rest of us. Experts theorise this has to do with GMT reverting clocks back to imperial times, but don't take our word for it. Let's hear what you, the people, have to say. What are your opinions on Brexit? <coughs> I think the two, the two are pretty, Donald Trump and I think Brexit are pretty intertwined. I think Brexit was a vote for racism and British people didn't really know what they were voting for when they voted for Brexit. Uh, there's been a huge increase in um, racist attacks and racist slurs since the Brexit vote has come through. And I think the, the reason Brexit happened and they voted to leave was because people like Donald Trump were allowed to speak out about whatever they wanted without any consequence. Um, so I think that the use of like Donald Trump's being allowed to talk has promoted more uh, anti-Semitic views. And now on to DJT, the man of the mix, making America great again. Dictator Trump and his tanning bottle settled into the White House, surrounded by all his privileged white middle-aged friends and family. But don't take our word for it, we're just women. Um, I think that uh, he's split America into two, um, but I also think that some of uh, Barack Obama's policies uh, haven't really been effective over the few years that he was um, in office. I know people who uh, pay for Obamacare uh, actually have ended up paying more for that kind of insurance, that it's an insurance policy that favours the pharmaceutical companies. So I'm actually, I support Trump in that area. Um, I don't think that the world is black and white and I think that some things need to change and that, um, uh, I mean, I think that immigration has affected America and I think also uh, Europe and I think we need to have a more balanced and uh, even keeled policy on that area. So uh, yeah, so I'm not entirely enthusiastically thumbs up in favour of him, but I mean, you know, I don't think he's a Nazi or a dictator either, so. But I really like his wife Melania, I think she has a certain gut to be with a man that causes this fear in a lot of people. And uh, I feel that she's gonna do good for the foreign women maybe. Now on to other first world problems. You two tickets, all gone, with or without them. I woke up at like 6 a.m. Yet people are complaining this is another Ticketmaster conspiracy in the name of capitalism. That darn agent of evil stealing all our jobs. And our women. But now, let's hear their side of the story. Here's our ticket car Ticketmaster correspondent scraping any last bits of the dignity he has, Dan, the capitalist man. Hi Dan, how are you? Not too bad, thanks for having me on the show. So what do you have to say for yourself? Well, to be honest, I don't really see the big issue at all. I mean, you two have played here many times before. People knows what happens with tickets. It's a relative. And people that actually don't, if you look at our 2016 budget plan, we said that 2.5% of all the booking fee would actually go to a charity of our choice as well at the end of the day. I've been Lady McLaughlin. And I've been Rachel Scully. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow night. This has been Stews. Thank you.